Welcome back now to the story you'll see Old Man ABC4, the family of a 10 year old Sandy boy talking to us after their son is involved in a serious bike accident. Our Nicole Newman sat down with the father this afternoon to get an update on his condition. It was at this intersection just over a week ago where 10 year old Breck Anderson was critically injured. Now today his family has a message for other parents. We thought we were out of the woods yesterday uh, with, with uh, the brain pressure receding. Uh, he's got a drain in his brain and this morning they had to do a spinal tap to further reduce the pressures in his brain. Fresh off of undergoing shoulder surgery last night, Peter Anderson sits in a sandy home sharing the roller coaster ride his family has been on since March 17th. It's when his 10 year old son Breck was seriously hurt after colliding with a truck while on his bike. It happened at the intersection of 11400 South, 1000 East in Sandy. Breck says, I'm going biking. I thought, great, you know, you can go down to Altera School. It's a safe ride. That little adventurous guy decided to go to a place where we forbid him to go. And that's when he was hit by a car. I screamed and uh, couldn't believe it. And he wasn't supposed to be there. Breg's damaged bike is now propped up against a kitchen chair in his family's home. The rim of his back tire is visibly bent and the chain is hanging off. The helmet he just received the day before the accident is broken into pieces. Without it, Peter says Breck might not be here today. Whether you're riding your bike down the road or, or to school, wherever it is, get a helmet. Get a helmet that's, that's made for biking. Peter says a team of medical workers at Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City are working around the clock to care for Breck and his entire family, including his biological mother and grandparents, friends and neighbors are working to support him. He left a debris field of helmet parts on the highway. It knocked his shoes off his, off his feet. Uh, the impact was, was, was that hard. There is a GoFundMe set up to help pay for Breck's medical expenses. And Sandy Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. Peter says Breck did fracture his skull, but thanks to his helmet, he doesn't have any abrasions on his skull. While doctors wait for the swelling on his brain to go down, he is in a medically induced coma and is breathing with a ventilator. Breck also has a fractured wrist and punctured left lung. Best wishes to him.